Welcome to today's Simplicity Special Training. Today's training is on Client Portal Settings. To any Client Portal, we're going to go to Settings and then Client. From here, we'll select an individual client and then scroll down the screen until we find the Client Portal Settings. Currently, this is labeled as False. When we switch it to true, this will enable the client portal. There are three views to the client portal. We have our default view, default view, no notes, and default view with files. If we switch over to our simplicity manual, you can find this information beginning on page 103. Regarding client portal settings, client portal views, gives a brief description of each. Default view allows the client to view accounts with notes. Default view no notes allows the client to view accounts without notes. And default view with files allows the client to view uploaded files within their client portal. We'll navigate back to our clients. We'll leave it as default view. Then we'll create a username and password. We're going to add the user. Okay, so we've created a username and password. That error that I got is because I used the same username as password. Okay, so they need to be unique from each other. You do have the option to choose um, what the client is allowed to do through the client portal. You can choose whether they can edit the collection status, add accounts. Uh, you can uh, choose whether they are able to view ticklers, whether they're allowed to upload files, and whether they're allowed to search for accounts. A checked box means that, that action is allowed. An unchecked box means it's disallowed. There are a number of reports that are also available through the client portal and you can choose which of those are visible as well. The accounts report, payment with client disbursement, status report, status report all notes, and status report. Okay, from here we want to save our settings. So we'll click the save icon. Okay. So from here, what we'll do in order to log into the client portal to view what the, our client might see, we're going to click log in to the client portal rather than use our typical login screen. We're going to click log in to the client portal. We're going to enter the information that we created as a username and password and we'll click Login. This is what the client will see when they log into the client portal. From here, they can take a number of actions. We've allowed this client to search for accounts. So we'll click that Search button and pull up an individual account. If you have any questions regarding this feature, please don't hesitate to contact us at the Help Desk by going to Help and Help Desk, or you can contact us at 866-791-0224, option 2 for support. Thanks so much for watching.